What's going on, everybody? Just got in from the Lexington, Kentucky card show. I wanted to get more footage, and no, no, not an excuse. As I was walking around, so you know how your tables, you have like one in front of you and one behind you in rows. There was barely enough room for like two people there. You'd have people coming in between you, just bumping you. And it was just really bad for trying to get, you know, some pictures. So I gave you guys pretty much what it looked like. And that was about it. Uh, there was not a whole lot of people that had value boxes to where you could sit down, dig through. The guys from last time, of course, were not there. Ah, I was hoping they'd be there. I was looking to pick up a lot of stuff for Com C, but I went a different route. Wildcat, I'm going to start off here with the football, just so you can see. Uh, I will tell you that a lot of uh, people from walking around that knew me buying at the show versus anything else, that people were overpriced, <laughs> way overpriced. I had a guy want me to buy his table out. He broke it down by sections how I could do it. And I started telling him, like, this card here sold $125. And he's like, oh, no, I bought that there from there. And I said, well, the last two sold for $125, so I can't give you $250 value on it. And basically, he was overvaluing his table and wanted to buy, have me buy it. This is no joke at 87%. And I just walked away. And there was a couple others that were like that, too. All right. You guys ready to see? So, Wildcat, I'll get my football going. Ridley Auto from Encased. I think that's a 25. This is a kind of cool card here. Epics. Football field. Des Bryant, Rookie Auto. Really don't see a lot of these anymore out there. It was kind of cool to come across this. So I picked it up. I did pick some stuff up because I got some uh, PSA that will be going out. So let me try not to knock over. Hold on. Let me go and move these, uh, what do you call them, cardboard pieces for packages. I'll go like this so you guys can see. There we go. So, Eli Manning, Bowman, rookie, probably a 9, to be honest. Maybe an 8, maybe a 10, depending on who looks at it. But I just got to fill out stuff for the order. Big Ben, rookie, from Upper Deck. Remember this? 93, Upper Deck. I think it was 93. Yeah, 93, Upper Deck. SP3, Dion Sanders. Probably the best one I found out there. And this was all off of one guy. Um, he has some nice stuff. I know this Shaq tops black gold diamond. This came out in 94. It is OC left and right. Maybe they give it to me because the top and bottom's pretty much there. But even though I'll take it as a nine. These are just I love these cards back in '94. SPX Jordan has a little hollow onto it. Another one we're gonna try to see what happens with it. Dwayne Wade, two bazooka rookies. It's nothing like they're real crazy. So those there, that's the end of the football, by the way. Um Wildcat, so sorry. <laughs> These here, I'm going to add to my vintage. Pick the mantle up. Not in bad shape. This corner is probably the worst out of it all. We'll see if we can squeak maybe a four on it. Probably going to be like a three. The old uh, Babe Ruth, Willie Mays, Hank Aaron. This was the best uh, I could find out of his stack. Figure what the heck. 73 top Seaver. See what happens. This Nolan ate somebody gave me. Has big old crease up in there. I might throw it in just to get slabbed during like one of the super specials. But it's definitely a PSA one from uh, 72 tops. <laughs> 69 tops Nolan Ryan. And I was looking, I was like, man, I wonder if this has like been trimmed or anything. I started measuring up to other cards while I was there. It didn't look right. And it's pretty much good as you can see. I'm up. But I was like, why are you so cheap on it? He showed me. There's a mark on the back. JM. I'll take that any day. For the price the guy sold me this, I'll take it. A PSA 1 sells for around $125 in this card. I paid half that. So even if I get a PSA 1 with a qualifier or whatever onto it, I'll, I'll take it. So pretty cool, though, for the Nolan Ryan. And then the last little vintage piece, this is probably going to be in rough shape too, but Hank Aaron, Willie Mays, Cepeda, Banks, and Robinson. It, it, I'll be honest, when you're going to shows, you're not going to really find raw cards that are going to grade high that are 
like real vintage to any of us that's been around for a while. The odds of finding that's very slim. It's either going to be somebody walking up to your table selling you that stuff, or you're going to find somebody that has a collection or they inherited a collection. You might find some stuff that way. Unless you find somebody want to go spend tons of money on wax from back then. So, really hard to find that stuff. I think a lot of it's drying up again, so maybe getting some of them low-grade stuff, people will start getting back into it. We'll see. Jim Palmer Auto from Upper Deck. Let me get the focus back. There we go. Pretty cool piece. I mean, it's nothing crazy expensive onto it, but I picked it up, I think, for $4. Take Jim Palmer Auto for $4. Mickey Mantle SGC 3, um, 58 tops. Oops, sorry. I forgot that these are bigger. So I'm going to have to look into this and see where exactly uh, I want to put this. There were prices all over. I think the color on it looks pretty good. It's just a little bit on, more on the corners than anything I, from what I've seen. And a little bit of crease here, here. So we'll see what happens with it. But I think the value on this is between anywhere from like three to four hundred. When I was looking up, I valued it around three. We'll see what happens. This was a sneaky one. I'm gonna go like this. It's in a bigger case. Sixty nine tops. Will Chamberlain. I, I couldn't pass it up for fifty bucks. I used Alt real quick to snapshot this card. And it came up with everything being sales over a hundred dollars onto it. I'm like, there's no way somebody messed up on their pricing that bad. So either alts off or you know, maybe there's a low sell somewhere the guy went off of. I have no idea. Usually I take alt values with a grain of salt onto it, but we'll see what happens. You know, I still gotta look it up. I haven't had a chance to look it up yet, but. Pretty cool, though, uh, to get the old big boy 69 tops Wilt PSA 4. Put that down. I'm going to tell you guys a funny story at the end here. So don't don't leave yet. I did get these for 30 a piece. I paid uh, 30 for the pair. But two Pat Riley's, so kind of cool, too. Like I said, a lot of the people know me, and they'll work with me because I'm always buying. And a lot of times they put stuff behind and see... Of who's coming by and stuff like that and save stuff up. Um, some people reach out. So I always do appreciate anybody that does that. Uh, it helps out tremendously. So one guy I did buy a couple cards off of was like the Des Bryant. He had two Peyton Mannings. So he was like, yeah, I, I was like, there's no way those are $300 autos. Oh, they're on car, da 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 and all this. I look them up and I'm like, yeah, they're going like 130 to 160. I'm like, where are you finding the prices or the values on it? So I was curious. I mean, younger, oh, I wouldn't say what, well, probably like late 30s, early 40s. He's like, oh man, I, whenever I go back to North Carolina, guys buy these all the time for 300 a pop. I'm like, well, I got some patents. If you're interested, I'll sell them to you 200 a pop. They're on card. I mean, I get like 130, 150 on them all day. Kind of just stared at me. I don't know. Just one of those oddball stories. And the funny thing is, there was a bunch of dealers with the same thing. Oh, no, no. I get them higher here, there, and everywhere else. With the, ex uh, with the exception of um, one guy I always will try to buy from because he does get nice stuff in, especially hockey. On There was a pinnacle Dan Marino. I could find a sale in 2022 for 117 on it. They don't come around very often, number out of 10. I really wanted it. I was willing to go like 140 on it uh, just because it was a really, really cool card. But, yeah, I mean, when you're starting to bring up like the old Pinnacle autos versus like the newer subset of whatever Pinnacle they did onto it, I just can't pay the newer prices onto it when I could find actual sales onto it. But nothing against it because that's the way he valued it at. Somebody else might see the value the same way onto it. But overall, eh, not like a crazy show where I went ham on the stuff. But I wanted to pick some stuff up to be able to send off the grade, get back in before the big show up in Indy eventually. You guys will see the LeBron did get graded. 
So that will be in next week. Um, should be. I have the track. Yeah, they'll probably push it out Monday. So I'll probably have a video towards the end of the week. If you follow my Instagram, you'll you already seen it. But I'm gonna do a video on to and talk about the whole story with Nat Turner, um, also the president of Upper Deck and everything, because I got nothing but you know kudos and thanks for their help on pushing this through very very quickly instead of the stagnant waiting four to six weeks for an answer from uh qa service from upper deck and then you know something happening at psa because it wasn't a system and stuff like that but that'll be story time for whenever that card comes in but other than that guys i'll be at a show next saturday at the j and j all-star in louisville try to pick a little stuff up there but that is it for this video um, stay tuned for that. That'll be the last card show where I go around talking to people I know buying along with dealers and I'm going to compile a lot of it into a video on my thoughts on what's going to happen with these smaller shows through 2024. All right. Have a good one. I'll catch y'all later.